Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man wala. We are inshallah ta'ala going to be going through a live dua every night in the month of Ramadan inshallah ta'ala for the next seven nights. And the objective of this is for uh, education as well as for motivation. So we'll be doing a dua in Arabic and a dua in English as well, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of you and reward you and bless you. Let us know once you tune in where you're tuning in from, inshallah ta'ala, what country, what state. And uh, we'll start to, uh, inshallah ta'ala, delve into the Arabic dua and then the English dua, especially during these last uh, nights when many people are uh, looking for uh, educational ways to understand dua and to understand its means and to understand how to make it. So this is for the purpose of motivating inshallah ta'ala our communities around the world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, accept. Allahumma ameen. Bismillah. We'll start with the Arabic dua every night, inshallah ta'ala, and then the English dua translation. We'll do this dua together. Again, the objective is to educate, inshallah ta'ala. And of course, if you think somebody will benefit from this, let them know, inshallah ta'ala. We've had many brothers and sisters in the last three years since the uh, 2020 uh, pandemic and the Ramadan that for many people was uh, a shift. A lot of people, alhamdulillah, have benefited from uh, just learning how to make dua and the etiquette of dua as well as some of the dua that we utilize in these uh, sessions. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept. Allahumma ameen. We'll start with the Arabic dua for about 10, 15 minutes or so. And then the English dua, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan. Allahumma laka alhamdu anta nuru al-samawati wal-ardi wa man fihin wa laka alhamdu anta qayyumu al-samawati wal-ardi wa man fihin wa laka alhamdu anta al-haq wa wa'aduka al-haq wa liqa'uka haq wa al-jannatu haq wa al-naru haq wa al-nabiyyuna haq wa muhammadun sallallahu alayhi wa sallam haq wa al-sa'atu haq اللهم لك أسلمنا وبك آمنا وعليك توكلنا وبك خاصمنا فاغفر لنا يا مولانا ما قدمنا وما أخرنا وما أسررنا وما أعلنا وما أنت أعلم به منا أنت المقدم وأنت المؤخر لا إله إلا أنت اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد في الأولين وفي الآخرين وفي الملأ الأعلى إلى يوم الدين اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما أعطيت وقنا شر ما قضيت إنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك إنه لا يذل من واليت ولا يعز من عاديت تباركت ربنا وتعاليت لك الحمد على ما قضيت ولك الشكر على ما أنعمت به علينا وأوليت نستغفرك اللهم من جميع الذنوب والخطايا ونتوب إليك اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنك عفو تحب العفو فاعف عنا اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من الشر كله عاجله وآجله ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم اللهم إنا نسألك فعل الخيرات وترك المنكرات وحب المساكين وإذا أردت بعبادك فتنة فاقبضنا إليك غير مفتونين 
وارزقنا حبك وحب من يحبك وحب عمل يقربنا إلى حبك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم إنا نعوذ بك من علم لا ينفع ومن قلب لا يخشع ومن عين لا تدمع ومن نفس لا تشبع ومن دعاء لا يستجاب له نسألك اللهم علما نافعا وقلبا خاشعا ولسانا ذاكرا شاكرا وعملا صالحا متقبلا اللهم يا مقلب القلوب والأبصار ثبت قلوبنا على دينك اللهم اهدنا واهد بنا واجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم ارزقنا قبل الموت توبة وعند الموت شهادة وبعد الموت جنة ونعيما اللهم لا تدع لنا في مقامنا هذا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا دينا إلا قضيته ولا ضالا إلا هديته ولا مظلوما إلا نصرته ولا طالبا إلا نجحته ولا مريضا إلا شافيته ولا مسافرا إلا سالما إلى أهله رددته برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم انصر الإسلام وعز المسلمين اللهم انصر المسلمين المستضعفين في كل مكان اللهم فرج الكرب عن المسلمين في كل مكان في كل مكان في كل مكان يا ذا الجلال والإكرام اللهم أعد مسجد الأقصى إلى رحاب المسلمين اللهم وارزقنا فيه صلاة قبل الممات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم اغفر المسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات اللهم اغفر لموت المسلمين أجمعين الذين شهدوا لك بالوحدانية ولنبيك بالرسالة وماتوا على ذلك اللهم اغفر لهم وارحمهم وعافهم وعاف عنهم وأكرم نزلهم ووسع مدخلهم واغسلهم بالماء والثلج والبرد ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم ارحمنا إذا صرنا إلى ما صاروا إليه اللهم بلغنا ليلة القدر اللهم بلغنا ليلة القدر واجعلنا فيها من المقبولين واجعلنا فيها من المقبولين واجعلنا فيها من المقبولين يا حي يا قيوم برحمتك نستغيث أصلح لنا شأننا كله ولا تكلنا إلى أنفسنا طرفة عين اللهم اغفر لوالدينا ولوالد والدينا اللهم اغفر لنا ذنوبنا كلها دقها وجلها كبيرها وصغيرها ما علمنا منها وما لم نعلم اللهم إنا نسألك موجبات رحمتك وعزائم مغفرتك والسلامة من كل إثم والغنيمة من كل بر والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم أجرنا من النار اللهم أعتق رقابنا ورقاب آبائنا وأمهاتنا من النار اللهم ادخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار نسألك الفردوس الأعلى بغير حساب مع النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين وحسن أولئك رفيقا اللهم اختم لنا رمضان برضوانك والنجاة والعتق من نيرانك اللهم أعد علينا رمضان سنين عديدة وازمنة مديدة واجعلنا اللهم فيه من المقبولين اللهم تقبل صلاتنا وصيامنا وقيامنا وركوعنا وسجودنا اللهم تقبل دعاءنا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا 
إنك أنت التواب الرحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ربنا لا تزق قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين وصل اللهم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Once again, we will be doing, inshallah ta'ala, an Arabic du'a and then an English du'a every night for the remaining nights of Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala. Barakallahu feekum, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from you. And of course, if there is a fa'idah benefit that comes up, that someone has a question, an educational point about du'a, inshallah ta'ala, that we can address, that's the point of this. We want to educate, inshallah ta'ala, and motivate more than anything else. The objective here is not group dua. That's not the point. The point here is to motivate, inshallah ta'ala, in terms of the dua that we can be making, how to make these dua, and then to, inshallah ta'ala, teach the English dua as well. May Allah accept from all of you. Allahumma ameen. We can move forward, inshallah ta'ala, and begin with the English dua, inshallah ta'ala. Uh, and of course, as you may know, you can make dua in any language. If you don't know Arabic, it doesn't mean you can't call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You call upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the language that you are able to express best. The point is to make dua, especially during the last ten nights of Ramadan, one of the most emphasized acts of worship is dua. And so this applies to everyone, old and young, men and women. The objective is to make a lot of dua, to purify the heart, to connect to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Dua is the essence of worship. It is the relationship between the master and the servant, the creator and the creation. So let's make the dua in English now, and then we will stop there for the night, inshallah ta'ala, and we will see you tomorrow night. Let us, uh, inshallah ta'ala, resume the English dua, the English supplication. O oh Allah, to you belongs all praise. You are the Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is in between, so to you is thanks and praise. O oh Allah, you are the light of the heavens and the earth, so to you is thanks and praise. You are the truth and your speech is true, your promise is true and your meeting is true. Paradise is true and the fire is true and the prophets are true and Muhammad, peace be upon him, is true. O oh Allah, we submit to you. We believe in you. We depend on you. We repent to you. We refer back to you, seek a judgment from you. So grant us forgiveness from you for our past sins and the new. Those hidden and evident, from all of them we repent, and from those we've forgotten while you knew. O oh Allah, we ask you for paradise, and everything that will bring us closer to it of actions and speech. And we seek refuge in you from the fire, and anything that will bring us closer to it of actions and speech. O oh Allah, guide us amongst those you have guided, and grant us health amongst those you've granted health to. Protect us amongst those you have protected, and bless us in what has been given to us by you. O Allah, protect us from any evil that is decreed, for you decree in truth and none can decree over you. None can disgrace whom you support and none can honor whom you oppose. You are the blessed and the exalted. O Allah, you are the most merciful of those who show mercy, the most merciful of those who are asked, the most generous of those who give, the sustainer of everything, and you alone ever live. You who hears what we do not hear, you who sees what we do not see, you who changes the universe by simply saying be, we don't have the ability to praise you. You are as you praised yourself. We thank you, Allah, for our families, our faith, our health, and our wealth. We declare you, Allah, to be our Lord. With no deities other than you, you created us. We are your slaves, and we fulfill our pledge to you. We seek refuge in you from the sins that we commit. Your blessings cannot be counted. Your favors we all admit. We also confess our sins and ask for your forgiveness, for none forgives sins except for you. O oh Allah, you are Al-Afu, the forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive us. O oh Allah, you are forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive us. O oh Allah, you are forgiving. You love to forgive, so forgive us. We seek refuge in you from a heart that is not humbled and an eye that does not tear, knowledge that doesn't benefit and a prayer not lifted near. O oh Allah, we ask you to make the Qur'an the spring of our hearts and the light of our chests, the remover of our sadness, the repeller of our stress, Teach us what we don't know of it. Remind us what we've forgotten. And grant us the ability to recite throughout the day and night. O Allah, guide for us our youth and bring them to the truth and protect them from influences that would cause them to be misled. Forgive our parents and grandparents and have mercy on our dead. Remove from us the overpowering of people and the overburdening of debt. 
O Allah, give us success and remove our stress and marry our bachelors and bachelorettes. O Allah, grant Muslim students the ability to excel in deen and dunya and doubts and desires repel. O Allah, free our prisoners and bring them back to their families safe and secure. Heal our sick from all ailments. You alone are the one to cure. O Allah, we seek your protection from being tested and we ask protection for our family in the land that you have made blessed and for our brothers and sisters in every land and every place in which your name is mentioned. O Allah, remove from them their sadness and punish those who oppress them. O Allah, they have no state to support them, no ummah behind them, no land to accept them and no one to carry them. It is them and you, Ya Allah, you are their supporter and their only hope. All avenues are shut for them except your door that doesn't close. So be their greatest supporter and greatest ally. O oh Allah, have mercy on our friends and our brothers and our sisters and everyone who requested our prayers. Forgive all of their sins. Collect, correct all of their affairs, O oh Allah. O oh Allah, as you've allowed us to experience the month of Ramadan, allow us as well to be forgiven. Forgive us, Ya Allah, and be with us and don't punish us. There is nothing that allows us to have the ability to pray to you with all of our sins and shortcomings and faults except what you've taught us of your forgiveness. O oh Allah, make us of the people of paradise and protect us from the fire. We seek refuge in you from being people of the fire. O oh Allah, protect us and our families and our ummah from all evil and heal the hearts of the believing people. O oh Allah, we ask you to make us amongst those who are accepted on Laylatul Qadr. O oh Allah, we ask you on the night of decree to make us amongst those who are accepted and forgiven. O oh Allah, we ask you for all that is good, good now and good later, the good that we recognize and the good that we don't. O oh Allah, we ask you to protect us from everything that is evil, the evil that is now and the evil that is later, the one that we recognize and the ones that we don't. O oh Allah, we ask for your support, we ask for your aid, we ask for your assistance, we ask you Allah to bring down happiness and healing into our hearts and our minds. We ask you Allah to make us a people of optimism and hope and to be a source of hope and optimism for others. O oh Allah, we ask you to grant relief to all of those who are struggling with any mental or physical health. O oh Allah, we ask you for consistency after Ramadan. We ask you, Allah, for consistency throughout the year. We ask you, Allah, not to make us amongst those who worship you only in the month of Ramadan. O oh Allah, we ask you to forgive us during this blessed month of Ramadan and in the remaining nights of Ramadan. And we ask you to grant us many more years to experience this great month. O oh Allah, we beg you to accept our dua. O oh Allah, accept. O oh Allah, accept. O oh Allah, accept. And our final supplication is that all praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. O oh Allah, send your peace and your blessings upon your messenger Muhammad and all who follow him until the end of times. Allahumma ameen. Allahumma ameen. Jazakum al khairan to our brothers and sisters who tuned in. This was the first night. It was a very short notice announcement. This is something that we started in the beginning of the pandemic, alhamdulillah. Uh, because there are many brothers and sisters around the world who are tuning in and asking, how do I make dua? What does it look like? Can I be inspired? Can I learn? And so the objective is educational, and we ask Allah to accept from all of you. We will continue to do this for the remaining nights of Ramadan. If you know others who will benefit from it, share it with them, inshallah ta'ala. We'll have uh, dua in Arabic and dua in English, inshallah ta'ala. The English dua, most of it was provided by our dear beloved brother and Sheikh Sheikh Ammar al-Shukri. You can find his English translation online in many places. And the Arabic dua is just a number of different dua from the uh, sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for different occasions. Uh, for the most part, all of them were found in authentic hadith. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept from all of you. And I ask Allah to reward you and to reward your families and to accept all the dua that you make in the best forms for you. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us sincerity. The best thing you can do is to be consistent and persistent with your dua and to make sure you have an attentive, humble heart and that you believe fully that your dua is accepted. The way that dua works is that it is a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not a one-time thing where you're shopping online, you purchase what you want and you leave very quickly, expecting to get what you want with instant gratification. This is a relationship with Allah. It's a relationship with Allah. So cultivate that relationship. Make sure your heart is attentive. Make sure you're paying attention. And if you don't know what to say, make dua from the bottom of your heart. Just make dua from the bottom of your heart for the things that you are in need of that will benefit your akhirah. And of course, later on, the things that you can benefit from in terms of a dunya. And if you ask for anything of a dunya, ask Allah to bring you closer to him through that blessing. So if you're asking for success, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for success in order to be more grateful, more righteous, closer to him. If you're asking Allah for more wealth and rizq, ask Allah to make you more charitable, more generous, more, more impactful on the ummah as well. And of course, include in every dua praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
hamd include istighfar, forgiveness, seeking Allah's uh, forgiveness, and include salawat upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I ask Allah to reward you all, to accept from you, spread the word, inshallah ta'ala. We will continue with this nightly dua for the remaining nights at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah khairan, subhanakum wa hamdik, ashadu an la ilaha 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 il